Hey Ryan Junkies, it is Monday, Memorial Day, May 27th, and it is the day of the Boulder Boulder. Just arrived, I already hit the porta potties, life is good. Uh, I have to warm up a little bit, it is brisk, it's about 48 degrees, which is perfect for race day, slight breeze, but it's like the perfect day for a race. Couldn't ask for better conditions, the sun's gonna be out, my wave goes off in 45 minutes. Oh, it's gonna be an awesome day. I'm go warm up, get some water, ready to go. Woohoo! Spectrologic! Spectrologic! Mr. Mr. Fast Man. Boulder Boulder 10K recap. I ran that this morning. Uh, my son and Dave got up early to join me. Uh, my brother ran it and his girlfriend came down. Uh, okay, so perfect conditions for a race. Okay, absolutely 
perfect weather. It was that there was a bit of a cold breeze coming from the north, which really didn't affect my race too much. Um, I hit the start line, felt pretty good. Um, and then the first two miles I went out too fast. Uh, actually by a lot, uh, 30 seconds faster than I really wanted to in the first mile, uh, another 15 seconds faster in the second mile and I paid for it. Okay. The Boulder Boulder course as a race elevation map profile is a lot of uphill. It is a net gain overall. Uh, and the first two miles, you don't realize it, but it, cause it looks flat, but it's really uphill. You are gaining about 20 feet in elevation in that first two miles and it's steady. After the first two miles, I'm like, I, I knew I was gonna kind of pay for it. The second two miles I programmed at 10, 10 to 10 05. And I had a hard time hitting that pace. The fourth mile is where this hill is. I've run it enough that I turn, you, you, you make a left hand turn and you're going slightly downhill and then there's kind of a jog over, uh, there's a water station and then you go uphill. Fire station's on the right, Course Summit is uh, straight ahead at 5391, 5,391 feet. There are a couple of things about this hill that I have, that have gotten in my head. Um, one is that when I approached it today, I'm like, that's not the big hill because it just looked a lot smaller, a lot shorter, a lot less steep than I have it pictured in my mind's eye. Keep in mind, I've run this course now. This will be my fourth time. And I could also swear that the course summit is at, I don't know, 6,500 feet. It's only 5,300 feet, almost 5,400 feet. It just feels like that hill where it sits in the course is just so hard. And I really tried, I really tried running up that hill and I got to, um, I got to the fire station, which is maybe, you know, a hundred yards from the top of the hill and I had to walk and I stopped and I took, took a picture. Okay. So I walked maybe a 10th of a mile and I stopped to take a picture and but i was running consistently up to that point okay uh then downhill into pearl street i started feeling like okay i can make up some of this time and i did sort of that mile four was my slowest mile at i think 10 30 10 i hit the 8k mark and started feeling okay i'm, I'm almost done actually i hit the 7k mark and i'm like okay I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm feeling really good. I switched my watch from average pace to total time because my A goal for this race was a 104.32 or better. Okay. That is my course PR for this race. If my, if I had a secret goal, it would be to PR the whole thing, but I knew that was probably not in the cards for this race. I hit the uh, ninth kilometer. And I started thinking, okay, I, and I looked at my watch and I had, I was at 58 sec, 58 minutes and change. So I had six minutes to play with. Okay. And I thought, okay, if I can just keep this up, probably the hardest part of Boulder Boulder is the, in that last two tenths of a mile, because you are, as you make the final turn, you ascend a hill and it is a short and steep hill as you go up into the stadium. Um, and that just, I was dying by that point. I was gasping for air. I was struggling. Um, my legs probably could have done it, but I really was like, I was redlining. Um, if you look at my, my heart rate data, I was maxed out. Like there was, I had nothing left to push up that hill. So I walked it. And I, I turned into the stadium and I thought, okay, the people are here. My family is here. Everybody's here. I have got to turn it up a notch. And so instead of like what I've done in the past is, you know, go to the outside of the stadium, go to the stands and high five along the way. Right? Uh, no, I was on the inside, um, the shortest track around to the finish line. And I, it was everything I could do to just dig super deep. And that last hundred yards, 
I was like, just come on, just finish, just finish strong. So I finished strong. It wasn't until, you know, maybe an hour or so after I got home that I realized I missed my PR. Four seconds. This is my PR. This is my course PR. This is today. I don't think I could have given more. I really don't. Um, I made the mistake of going out too fast. Okay, that is probably what kept me from that PR. That's probably what made it so challenging on those hills. And you guys know, I trained a lot of hills. I honestly have to say that this, this course, Boulder Boulder, has gotten in my head as a race attempt, okay? Let me be clear. If you are going to plan like a 50 states, race in 50 states, if you're going to select one race in Colorado, Boulder Boulder is it. You have to run this race. I highly recommend it as a bucket list race for everyone, okay? It's extremely fun. The course support is amazing. Uh, the entire town comes out to either run it, volunteer for it, or cheer for it. Um, it it's, you've got slip and slides and bacon stops and Dorito stops and donuts everywhere. Uh, you have a marshmallow mile, you have Oscar Blues, which is a local microbrewery. Um, they've got beer out there. I mean, it's eight o'clock in the morning, folks. They've got beer out there. I mean, jello shots. I mean, it really is a college town. <laughs> it's definitely a college town kind of race. The problem with it is that if you're going to race it, you can't have fun like that. It's, it's like you're missing all of that. Um, did I have fun? No. I actually did not have fun. I didn't plan on having fun because this race can be a fun race. I was very focused. I was really trying to run my line, run my pace, uh, and the sheer number of people is the other thing that gets in my head. Um, you know, I look at a number like 50,000 people and I count it. There are 23 turns because every time you turn, the entire course swishes down to run that tangent and you get cut off and people are slowing down. And if you just assume for the moment that every turn is a loss of two seconds in the mile, you know, that kind of makes a big difference. That's eight or nine seconds per mile. Because if you take 23 turns, that's almost one turn every quarter of a mile. So like you do the math like that, and it, it, that's why this course is so challenging to race, okay? That's where this one gets in my head. I also, with that many people, it, it really, it, it gets to me, it really does create a lot of anxiety for me. So I think it's a fun course. Uh, if anybody wants to come out and run it, I will run it with you. I will come cheer you on, but it is challenging. It, it was a challenging course. So that I got a four second, I missed my PR by four seconds. Am I disappointed? Actually, no, I'm not. Um, I know the mistakes I made. I have to say, it's just not my favorite course. I do want to see what I can do at sea level and or on a flat course as a race, as a race effort. Um, because given the conditions today, I think I performed very, very well. All right, that is the Boulder Race recap. My feet are... I'm gonna drink my noon and take a nap. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the Boulder Boulder 2019 race recap. I really appreciate you tuning in this week. Uh, tomorrow I will have the weekend update of everything else that happened that week when we get into triathlon training. Uh, also, I will have a chat with Jen about this race, the 2019 Boulder Boulder, and uh, we get far more in depth coming up this week on the Go Find Your Awesome podcast. You can also read my full race report at Go Find Your Awesome. Dot com. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Until I see you again, go find your awesome and happy running.